And in today's episode, I will explain you how you can get a UK citizenship without jeopardizing your lifestyle and living um, in a famous UK weather. And on the top of that, living tax free. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jovana from Nomad Capitalist, where we help entrepreneurs and families achieve their financial freedom and go where they are treated the best. On a macro scale, you can get uh, British citizenship in a couple of ways. Obviously, uh, through your ancestors, and in this case, you don't have to live in the UK, uh, through the naturalization process, where you, can, you need to spend uh, six plus um, years in the UK, especially in the last year prior to your citizenship application, citizenship by marriage if your spouse is a British citizen, or you can get a citizenship uh, being a um, British uh, overseas citizen. As a British overseas citizen, you can apply for a UK passport and receive consular assistance, uh, but you cannot live and work in the UK, or you you will be actually subject to immigration control, um, and you have to go through a regular um, immigration procedures. However, if the passport is your goal, which to most people it is, uh, then you can use this um, kind of fast track to get a UK citizenship without actually having to live there. Uh, one of British Overseas Territories countries, or BOTC, um, as it is famous for, uh, that actually allows you to get UK passport even faster than if you would normally uh, live in the UK and naturalize in the UK is Cayman Islands. Obviously, this passport, as everything in Cayman Islands, comes with a price tag. Um, so in order for you to apply for a residence permit that can lead you to citizenship, you will need to invest at least two million Cayman, um, Cayman dollars um, into development real estate. On the top of that, Cayman Islands are the second most expensive place to live in. That can be not neutralized um, by not having to pay any taxes, either personal or corporate. It's It will be pretty much very easy setup because in this case, you don't have to worry where your company is going to be. Will you trigger a permanent establishment rule? You can you know, set yourself um, a residence in personal tax residents in Cayman Islands and have a company uh, there without worrying uh, about triggering additional rules. Uh, Cayman Islands does have different visa options. So um, some of those that will grant you work visa by just simply opening a company there and applying to a work permit, um, or there, uh, there are options that will give you 25 years um, investor visa, which is ability only to work and stay in Cayman Islands. But only this type of visa and only this amount of investment will grant you a permanent residence that later on can bring you citizenship. Under this residence permit, you can include your um, your whole family, so your spouse and your kids. Besides making uh, a significant investment uh, into real estate, um, you'll also need to have a clean uh, police record. Um, you know, you will also need to have a good health history. And what they are also looking for are three refer- reference letters as character reference um, and a proof that even after purchasing real estate, you can actually support yourself by living in Cayman Islands. Uh, this residence permit is available only to 250 people annually, and it provides you and your dependents um, a right to live and work if you want to do so um, on Cayman Islands. Once you live in Cayman Islands for five years, you can apply for Cayman Islands citizenship. This process is generally straightforward. Um, It can take a couple of weeks uh, for them to check your documents. So it is not one of those um, citizenship that where the process is never ending pretty much. So it's pretty straightforward and they're generally giving their citizenship. After you have been accepted in Cayman Islands citizenship, um, then your family can, uh, can apply for Cayman Islands citizenship you will have a British Overseas Territory Cayman Islands passport. So this is still not a UK passport and you're still not a a British citizen. Um, So once you get citizenship and passport 
from Cayman Islands, then you apply for um, UK passport and British citizenship. So you're doing that on Cayman Islands. So you're not going to UK, you are submitting your application to Cayman Islands. Uh, they are reviewing it, and if they think that is a right way to do, they will send it to um, to the UK. So the general length of the process um, after you have uh, submitted your application uh, is 12 months. But some of the cases that we worked on, um, what we generally see is it actually takes like four to six months for them, for the UK to process your application. So you will be notified as again after top 12 months um, that you have been accepted and that you have been granted a British citizenship and afterwards you can apply for a um, UK passport. Again, what is important to note is that with this document you cannot uh, live and uh, stay and work in the UK as a regular um, British citizen, you only can use the passport as a travel document and you only have and you have a right for a diplomatic or consular assistance um, in any part of the world. If you would like to hear more so-called loopholes like this one, please comment below and also check our website uh, for more details.